In terms of uh, potential threats, the release of the, uh, the Taliban who were being held in Guantanamo uh, was conditioned on the Qataris keeping eyes on them and creating a structure in which we can monitor their activities. We will be keeping eyes on them. Uh, is there the possibility of uh, some of them trying to return to uh, activities that are detrimental to us? Absolutely. That's been true of all the prisoners that were released from Guantanamo. There is a certain recidivism rate that takes place. Um, I wouldn't be doing it if I thought that it was contrary to uh, American national security. And we have confidence that uh, we will be in a position to go after them if, in fact, uh, they are engaging in activities that threaten our defenses. Uh, but this is what happens at the end of wars. Uh, that was true for George Washington. That was true for Abraham Lincoln. That was true for FDR. That's been true of uh, every uh, combat situation, uh, that at some point you make sure that you try to get your folks back. Uh, and that's the right thing to do. Uh, was conditioned on the Qataris keeping eyes on them and creating a structure in which we can monitor their activities. We will be keeping eyes on them. Uh, is there the possibility of uh, some of them trying to return to uh, activities that are detrimental to us? Absolutely. That's been true. In terms of uh, potential threats, the release of the uh, the Taliban who were being held in Guantanamo to uh, American national security. And we have confidence that uh, we will be in a position to go after them if, in fact, uh, they are engaging in of all the prisoners that were released from Guantanamo. There is a certain recidivism rate that takes place. Um, I wouldn't be doing it if I thought that it was contrary